My name is Gavin Evans, and if you're watching this, I'm glad to hear that my clickbait title totally worked. I gotta do that more often, I guess, but it is my actual honest thoughts. This movie looks absolutely dreadful. It looks terrible, and the hype behind this movie just baffles me. Now, I'm gonna be honest. When Tobey Maguire eventually comes into this movie, I'm not gonna lie. I will get goosebumps in that moment. I'm a big Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man fanboy. I love history Spider-Man movies. I even enjoyed the third one. So yes, I do get some excitement from seeing him on screen again, but that's all I'm excited for with this movie. Notice how whenever anyone's talking about this movie, they only mention Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man is coming back, Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man is coming back, and Dark Ark and Green Goblin and Electro, and nobody mentions the story. Like, nobody. No one's just like, oh, I hope they have a really good story. And if there was a good story behind this movie, then I would be excited. But after watching this trailer, it's quite clear that this movie will have an absolutely atrocious story. Let's get into it. Because at the end of Loki, oh, spoiler alert for Loki if you haven't seen the end, but they open the multiverse. So I'm like, okay, there's going to be all these different dimensions and wormholes opening up. And no, they don't even play into that. What propels the plot forward is that everybody knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man and he goes to Doctor Strange to make a spell that everybody would forget. And I just hate that. I think it is the stupidest thing ever. First of all, at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, he's a fugitive. He's on the run. Why not war with that? I'd much rather see a Spider-Man movie where the cops are after him and he's a fugitive on the law. You know, you know that awesome scene in Batman Mask of the Phantasm where Batman's getting chased by the cops? Like, have that, but with Spider-Man for an entire movie. That would be great. I would love to see that. But instead of that, they're not really even utilizing the cliffhanger. It just feels like a cheap plot gimmick to introduce the multiverse. But instead of following up on it properly like they should, they're just built... They're pretty much just throwing it away. They're just like, okay guys, we want Tobey Maguire on this movie. He agreed to be in it for a lot of money. We have to use him. Uh, so we have to introduce the multiverse. How can we do this? Well, we had this cliffhanger and we had this script. Throw it into the garbage. I don't want that script. We got Tobey Maguire coming back. We need a script that does that. Um, what if he makes a spell and it's going to work, but then Peter decides he doesn't want to do it and it opens the multiverse. Brilliant. Like, that's so stupid. I couldn't believe how stupid of a reason that was. Like, my jaw dropped at its stupidity. But you know why else I'm joining this movie? So, Willem Dafoe is coming back as Green Goblin, but he died at the end of Spider-Man. Alfred Molina is coming back as Doc Ock, but he redeemed himself and died at the end of Spider-Man 2. But they're both coming back as villains. So they're just bringing them back for the sake of fan service, even though it doesn't fit the already established character arcs. It doesn't make sense. It is the worst kind of fan service because it doesn't have any kind of logic behind it besides for the fact that when fans see it, they're going to be like, <laughs> he was in a movie I saw 20 years ago. And they're just going to go nuts and everyone's going to be wowed. And it's just going to be like, I'm sorry, but if you're excited that Dark Ark is coming back, don't you wish they were doing his character justice? He had an amazing character arc in Spider-Man 2, and now they're just throwing that out the window and being like, we don't need that, we just need claps. You know, it's like Marvel just watched all those reaction videos of the theater watching Avengers Endgame, and I saw Avengers Endgame in theaters a few times, it was a great experience. But I feel like they just watched those videos and they're like, Oh, we have to recapture that ASAP. It's too soon for anything this big. Just mellow down a bit. I'd rather have a Spider-Man on the one kind of movie over this. Just so I'm not a complete Debbie Downer, I will say that some of the visuals look really cool and trippy. So I'll give the movie that, but that's as much as I can give it. Yes, when I see Tobey Maguire on the screen as Spider-Man again, I, I, I will be like, okay, this is pretty cool. And then after five minutes, I'm going to be like, okay, it, it the magic's worn off. Because you can't just do fan service. Like Avengers Endgame is fan service the movie. It really is. Everything in that movie is meant to get a visceral reaction from the crowd. And it does a good job at that. But you know why that movie works? Because it feels owned. At that point, they've been building up to that for like 22, 23 movies or whatever. And when it all pays off, it's just like... It pays off emotionally, it pays off on an excitement level. Because they've been building to it for so long that it really does feel owned. This isn't on. In fact, it feels like they're taking someone else's hard work and they're just taking that from them and using it for their own personal gain. It doesn't feel on here. Only reason this movie exists is so people can see Andrew Garfield, 
Tobey Maguire come back as Spider-Man, fighting the Sinister Six. And yes, I know that they haven't been officially confirmed, but they're in it. And now it's at the point that if they're not in this movie, everyone's going to hate it. That all said, I hope I enjoy this movie when I see it. I just don't think I will, because I don't think I'm ever going to get over the fact that they're bringing Willem Dafoe and Alfred Molina back for no reason other than to get a reaction from the crowd. I hate that. And I think I hate that so much that there's no way I'm going to enjoy this movie. Anyways, I've spent enough time complaining about a movie that doesn't come out for a few months that I'm going to see regardless, no matter how awful I think it looks. So why don't you guys let me know what you thought about the newest trailer down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.